Hi guys, welcome back to Lindy Lou Productions. I am going to do a uh, rabbitry shed tour for you. Um, I haven't done an updated one, I think since like summer or early fall. So I thought I would do one because a lot has changed inside. A lot of bunnies have been added and uh, yeah. So here's Colton playing with his tractor. Um, but this is just a 10 by 20. Um, I think it's the brand is called Lifetime shed from Sam's Club if you're in the US. I think there's Sam's Club in like Canada maybe. Um, but yeah, so this is my poop pile. It's not real pretty. <laughs> kind of like a manure pile at a barn. Um, and then my electrical wire. Don't mind all the stuff that needs burned. I need to take that down, empty the garbage can, blah blah blah. So just ignore that. But as you walk up, right now because it's obviously been winter and cold, I don't have all the doors open. But you walk in, and I have all of my carriers in a stack. These are all my carriers that I take to shows and whatnot. Come down here, and here is all my brooms, my Argent brooms. It's my other Argent broom dough. Those are some mini lops. These are Champagne to Argents. Champagne to Argent. And then these are my mini Rex doughs on these top three cages. And then these are my creme doughs. This is a mini lop dough and my silver fox lock. And this is the kitty feeding station. There's her food and water. And then this is the container. Everything, yes, that is pea sprayed from you on top of here. Um, but this is where I keep their pellets. I need to put the rest of what's in that bag in there. And that is what I feed them, if anyone's wondering. Okay, and then this is the view. I just cleaned it yesterday, so it is still, um, you know, like it just instantly gets dusty. As soon as I feed hay and stuff, it looks horrendous. So this is the view from the long end. I keep all of my nest boxes and hay and everything up top. Those are all of my heat lamps. I have four total in the shed. And then you walk down here and there's just more cages. These are my silver fox does. This stacker right here is seven bunnies that I keep just for pets. Um, they were my original bunnies and I keep them as pets. I love them dearly. And then that is a mini lop doe and a mini lop buck. This is my creme buck. Hollands. You guys will see that in a new video coming out. Mini Wop. Mini Wop. My Mini Rex buck. Mini Wop buck. Mini Wop. And then Mama Maple and her baby. She has three babies in there. And then over here, I have Stickers, my kitty. I have her little nursery. Um, she is pregnant and she is ready to have babies. So there's her litter box. And then her little nursery that she hopefully has her babies in. And so yeah, that's really about it. I have some lights strung up here and then I have ones that go, I don't know if you guys can, they need dusted <laughs> really bad, but I have like random lights that I turn on um, that work in here on the ceiling. They all have like cobwebs and stuff on them that I need to clean off. But yeah, so this is a 10 by 20 shed, lifetime shed from Sims Club. And this is the extent of my rabbitry. I actually don't know exactly how many cages I have, um, but I have to haul water up here um, during the winter time with jugs like this. And then in the summer, I have my hose that I drag up. This is Stickers, the shed kitty. She will just be in the videos hanging out. She's our little bunny barn mascot. This is the little area I have for them to play in right now. Um, I need to move up. I have more panels. I just need to move them up here. It's been so wet that I've been avoiding it. That's why it's filled with hay so that they didn't sink into the mud. And as you guys can see on the back here, there's two little windows. Um, I don't have them open right now just because it's still been getting cold. 
at night. Yeah, so that is really it for my shed tour. There's really not a whole lot to it. Um, but I just thought I would do an updated one with the bunnies that I have now and the cage setups that I have now. I know it's not real great. A lot of them are kind of just like thrown together cages that I literally made out of random pieces that I have. Um, but they can get expensive. So I have been selling a lot of tack um, from the horses that I've had over the years. And I sold a saddle and I've sold a couple bunnies. And so I'm c trying to slowly save uh, so that I can get a little bit better, you know, nicer cages. So that should be coming soon. Um, but yeah, that was really it for this video, guys. I appreciate you watching and I will see you next time. Bye.